Hello! This video is a quick introduction to data integration. Data integration is one of the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. It includes core features that you can use to design and run data integration tasks. When you log into Intelligent Cloud Services, you see the My Services page. The My Services page shows the services that you can use. The services you see on this page are based on your organization's licenses and your user permissions. Use this page to switch between services. If you click Show All Services, you'll see all of the Intelligent Cloud Services. Some services have free trial versions that you can try out. Hover over the lower right corner to find descriptions of the services. You can set the service you use most frequently as the default service. Then when you log into Intelligent Cloud Services in the future, you'll skip the My Services page and go directly to the default services homepage. Now let's open Data Integration. The name of the service you have open shows in the header. If you want to switch to a different service, just click the service name to return to the My Services page. You can always see the Intelligent Cloud Services header no matter which service you have open. The navigation bar always appears in the Intelligent Cloud Services window, regardless of which page you're viewing. When you first open Data Integration, the home page comes up. Use the home page to see a summary for your organization and recent activity. You can use the home page to quickly jump to the last project or asset that you worked on. Projects are folders that you use to group assets. Assets are data integration objects such as mappings, tasks, and task flows. To create an asset, click New from the navigation bar. You can see the types of assets that are available to you based upon your organization's data integration license. A mapping is an asset that defines data flow logic that you can run in mapping tasks. You can create reusable mappings by including parameters in the mapping design. A task is a process that you configure to analyze, extract, transform, and load data. You can configure and run different types of tasks. For example, mapping tasks process data based on the data flow logic defined in a mapping. Mass ingestion tasks transfer large amounts of data between on-premise and cloud repositories. Task flows run multiple data integration tasks in sequential order. They also run multiple parallel sets of tasks. Task flows can control the execution sequence of tasks based on the output of the previous task. A component is an asset that's used within other assets. For example, a business service definition is a component that's used in mappings that include web services transformations. For some assets, data integration includes templates based on common integration patterns. You can use these templates to give yourself a head start rather than creating assets from scratch. For example, data integration provides mapping templates for integrating data, cleansing data, and data warehousing. Use the Explore feature to organize your data integration assets in project folders. All your organization's projects and assets are included on the Explore page. You can explore by projects, assets, or tags. You can filter the contents, for example, to find a project called My Project, or list all of the mapping assets. You can perform actions on assets from the Explore page. For example, you can run a mapping task. Then you can click My Jobs to see the status of the mapping task. This was a quick introduction to data integration. For more information, you can find useful links from the Help menu.